Hello friends, today we'll be talking about one class of NSAIDs which is non-selective COX inhibitors. As the name suggests, it selective, non-selectively inhibits COX-1 or COX-2 enzyme uh, which is responsible for the production of pros prostaglandins from arachinonic acid which is found in the cell membrane. Okay, and prostaglandins are responsible for production of inflammation and pain, and pain at the site of injury. So we'll be talking about all the classes of this major class and the drugs uh, that lies under it, comes under it. So to remember the class classes of this major class, I have made this mnemonic, which is please answer all objectives in plain page. P stands for propionic acid derivatives. A stands for anthranolic acid derivative, A stands for aryl acetic acid derivative, O stands for oxycam derivative, I stands for indole derivative, P stands for pyrrole pyrrole derivative and last P stands for uh, pyrazonol derivative. So now talking about all the drugs that, that comes under it. So the first class, which is propionic acid derivative, the first one is ibuprofen. Um, it is a it is a very good uh, analgesic, but not better than aspirin. And its side effects includes gastric discomfort, nausea, vomiting, uh, and in the CNS it includes includes headache, dizziness, blurring of vision, depression, tinnitus, and it also precipitates aspirin induced asthma. Um, and its uses is to relieve pain and dysmenorrhea, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, uh, soft tissue injury, vasectomy, uh, tooth extraction, uh, postpartum and post-operative pain, fractures. And uh, it is contraindicated or it is not uh, used for patients who are pregnant and those who are taking diuretics or anticoagulants and those who have undergone uh, peptic ulcer problem. The next drug is naproxen, which is a longer acting, very good anti inflammatory drug, and uh, it is used in, to relieve acute inflammation in acute gout and in ankylosing spondylitis. And the next is ketoprofane, which is another anti inflammatory drug, and its efficacy is similar to other NSAIDs. The last one, fourth, flurbiprofane, uh, is used for eye or ocular inflammation. Sorry, it is used in eye or ocular inflammation now the next is anthranolic acid derivatives the first the only drug that, that, that we'll study in this it is mephanamic acid which is primarily another analgesic and we can say that it is a friend of uh, uh, ibuprofen because its uses are almost similar to ibuprofen which is uh, dysmenorrhea it, it is used to again relieve pain in dysmenorrhea and rheumatoid arthritis in OA in soft tissue pain and muscle pain and its side effects are diarrhea it, uh, the major side effect of mephanamic acid that it causes diarrhea and uh, in very less uh, patients it has caused hemolytic anemia uh, that is it, its tendency to cause a hemolytic anemia is very less and it also causes it causes gastric discomfort um, skin rashes and dizziness the next is aryl acetic acid derivative which is diclofenac sodium which is used in voveron which is uh, a component of voveron injection and it is somewhat cox2 selective and it has the tendency to penetrate tissues thus it lies for a longer time in synovial, synovial fluid and thus relieves pain uh, uh, in joints so its side effects are epigastric pain its side effects in, uh, are almost similar to the both the classes that we have gone through that which is epigastric pain rashes dizziness headache nausea and the increase in serum amino transferase now its uses is ra o its uh, uses to uh, relieve pain in ra oa ankylosing spondylitis toothache dysmenorrhea post operative and post traumatic inflammatory conditions it is also used to uh, relieve pain quickly and uh, to relieve edema around wounds and another drug which is uh, that lies under this category is acyclofenac now the next is oxycam derivatives which is per peroxicam it is a longer acting long acting anti inflammatory drug its side effects is uh, 
more than ibuprofen but uh, it also causes rashes and pruritus but that also in less than one percent patients it also causes edema and uh, reversible azotemia and uh, its uses is uh, to relieve inflammation in ra oa ankylosing spondylitis acute gout uh, also used in dentistry and to relieve pain in sorry yeah inflammation in dysmenorrhea and another drug which is that lies under this category is tenoxicam now pyrrole pyrrole derivative it has got one drug that will be studying which is ketorolac it is a potent analgesic which is shortly short lasting it's a bit short lasting its side effects includes uh, nausea abdominal pain drowsiness dyspepsia nervousness dizziness headache loose stools and again increase in serum transmittance just like uh, uh, diclofenac Now its uses is to relieve pain in renal colic, bony metastasis, post-operative dental and musculoskeletal pain, and in migraine. And uh, it shouldn't be used more for more than five days. For more than five days. Uh, the next category is the next class is indole derivative. The major drug that ca- comes under this category is indomethacin. It is a potent anti-inflammatory drug and potent and prompt antipyretic. Its side effects is hallucination, mental confusion, psychosis, a uh, frontal headache, dizziness, ataxia, and uh, depression, gastric irritation, nausea, anorexia, diarrhea, gastric bleeding, leukopenia, rashes, and other hypersensitivity reactions. It also decreases platelet aggregation, thus increasing bleeding time. Uh, guys, you have to. um just uh, learn all of these i cannot help you with these so you have to mark these up now to be a good doctor now uses is in a uh, relief uh, pain and sorry inflammation and ankylosing spondylitis in acute gout psoriatic arthritis arthritis and other at- uh, destructive arthropathies it is also used to close ductus arteriosus Uh, and it is used in Barter syndrome to, and also to relieve fever. And the last drug is Parazolon. Uh, its drug is Metamazole, or also called as Diparone. It is potent and promptly acting analgesic and antipyretic, but poor anti-inflammatory drug. Propifenazone also comes under this category.